Hello everyone, I'm Steve Grizzetti, the man from Movie Picks and author of the Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part one of an eight part series we're calling Basic Training for Premiere Elements. Look at the basics of video editing and Premiere Elements and hopefully this tutorial series will inspire you to dig deeper into the program and maybe explore some of the more advanced tutorials that I've posted on my YouTube page. When you launch Premiere Elements, it launches into what's called the Hub. This is an area from which you can launch either the Organizer, which is a file management program that's included with Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. You can launch Photoshop Elements if you have it installed on your computer. Or, as in our case, you can launch Premiere Elements by clicking the Video Editor button. You may notice that Premiere Elements has a look that is not unlike Premiere Pro. That's by design. That's happened since version 2025. It gives you a much more professional editing experience and it makes the experience of moving from Premiere Elements to Premiere Pro much easier. There's much less of a learning curve. Although the workspace is loaded with tools, it's a fairly simplified workspace. You'll notice that there are little windows that pop open and close as we click on the buttons here on the left. There are also buttons on the right, a toolbar along the right. These tools will become available as we add media to our timeline. There is both an advanced and a quick editing workspace. We'll spend most of our time working through tutorials in the advanced workspace. That's the more professional of the two workspaces. But the quick workspace has some advantages too. And let's take a look at the quick workspace in this tutorial and see how we can assemble a movie quickly in a fairly simplified workspace. To add media to your project, all you need to do is go over here to the plus button, add media, open files and folders, grab some media clips, and open them up. You notice that in the quick view, your media is added directly to your timeline. It's a little bit different in the advanced view. In advanced view, your media will be added to a project assets panel from which you will pull the media down to your timeline. But here in quick view, we go directly to the timeline with our media. It's a fairly simplified timeline. It's only got two video tracks, video one and video two. So you can overlay video or overlay titles on top of your video. There are only two audio tracks. There's the audio track that's included with your video, and then below that, an additional audio track for adding narration or adding music. The timeline ripples. That means that as I edit or trim clips on the timeline, all the other clips to the right of it will move left to fill in that gap. And as I add media to the timeline, all the clips will move to the right to allow for that clip to be inserted. Likewise, if I remove a clip from the timeline by pressing the backspace key after I've selected a clip, the timeline will ripple closed and fill in that gap. Along the right hand side of the program, you have options for adding transitions, for adding effects, for modifying the effects, and some tools for doing some more advanced editing. These are available in advanced as well as quick view. And we'll look more in depth at some of these tools a little bit later in our series. When you've completed your quick view movie, all you need to do is go to export and share in the upper right hand corner, click that, and that will take you to the export and share workspace. And we'll talk about the options that are available in this workspace once we get to part eight of our eight part series. But quick view has limitations and yet it has some advantages if you're just going to put together a fairly simple movie. It's designed for quickly assembling a movie. We're going to spend, as I say, most of our time in the advanced view or the advanced workspace as we look at some of the deeper tool set for the program. And I hope you'll stay with me for all eight parts of this basic training series here with Premiere Elements. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you in part two.